right, so in game 120 of the season, the A's unfortunately got blown out to the Seattle Mariners. Final score, 10-2. to um, New series for the A's, opening up a three-game series against the divisional rival. Seattle Mariners, who are currently fighting for a wild card spot, uh, A's are trying to, you know, hopefully you know, spoil their chances, um, even though there's still a lot of season left. But these games do matter for teams like the Mariners, who are trying to, of course, get a spot. And so, yeah, the A's, you know, unfortunately couldn't get the job done despite having an early lead up until the fourth inning where the Mariners took the lead once again. Um, let's get into the action, though. The A's had Cole Irvin on the mound, uh, who, you know, he allowed five runs. Um, then they had Norhe Ruiz, who I believe made his MLB debut for Oakland recently, being called up from AAA Aviators. And then, you know, of course, Mole finished it out. Um, for the Mariners, they had a couple different pitchers as well. But, yeah, to start things off, the Mariners did score first. Uh, Julio Rodriguez scored on a double play hit by Jesse Winker. And, um, you know, it was a good play by the A's defensively, but it did score the run. And so that was one nothing Mariners. Um, David McKinnon also played this game for the A's, obviously recently being called up. Uh, Chad Pinder, though, got an RBI single in the first inning as well, and that tied the game up. So the A's had two on, and that tied the game up. That was off Marco Gonzalez. It was a good, uh, you know, base running by Jonah Bride. And um, that drove in him. And, of course, you know, good hit by Pinder, as always. Shea Langoliers got the RBI next. He had a sack fly in the bottom of the first inning. Good to see him, you know, getting those RBIs early on. Um, it was a deeply hit ball, very productive out, and that scored in Murph, making it 2-1. However, I said once again in the fourth inning, the Mariners took the lead off Cole Irvin, Eugenio Suarez, two-run homer, his 21st homer of the year. And that was off Cole Irvin, and that made it 3-2 Mariners. Um, now, we wouldn't have a little bit of scoring uh, for a while, actually, until um, the sixth inning where Eugenio Suarez, three-run homer, <laughs> he hit another one. Wow, think about how many RBIs that is and just two at-bats, five. That's crazy. And so it was six to two Mariners in the sixth inning, and at that point, they were already creating distance. Five RBIs for the fourth time in his career in a singular game for Suarez. That's crazy. And that was the first time with the Mariners he did that. So that's really weird, but interesting stat. Now, Ty France got a uh, sack fly off Norhe Ruiz, and that made it 7-2. 8-2 uh, after Jesse Winker got an RBI single, so he got another RBI. And 9-2, Jake Lamb, former athletic, RBI single for him. And then Ty France once again off Norhe Ruiz, RBI single. And so that's 10-2. A lot of RBI singles for Seattle, and they went on to win this game. Chris Flexen got the save. And um, the Mariners are 20-3 and three in their last uh, 23 games against the A's. They've sort of dominated us. Uh, and that dates back to a year ago, uh, July 23rd of 2021. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, the A's just couldn't get it done in this game. Um, and that all comes back to, you know, the fact that the bullpen wasn't going to hold up. I mean, when you put in Norhe Ruiz, a guy that has no MLB experience, it's more of an experiment. So I don't blame him. I think Irvin was fading at the, you know, midway point in this game. Uh, and that's evident with the home run and, you know, the singles and whatnot. And, this, and the Mariners just straight up out hit us 13 to 6 hit wise. And the A's had two errors as well. So the A's were just not going to win this game. It's just a lot of offense from the Mariners. Now, the A's obviously do have, a, you know, a couple chances left in this series. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, the Mariners have played really, really good head to head against the A's. And uh, Oakland hasn't had much to respond. But yeah, I think positives from this game. Shea Langoliers gets an RBI. Chad Pinder had two hits. Uh, the top of the order. Uh, you know, the top two guys in the order, rookies, Nick Allen, Jonah Bride, each had hits. Sean Murphy had an RBI. I mean, it was a pretty good game. Sky Bolt had a um, hit as well. So that was good to see. But other than that, it sucks to lose. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this game. I will see you guys later. And as always, go A's.